I'm here uh, to pay respects to the 50th anniversary of the march. I was here 50 years ago. I was 20 years old at the time. And uh, I don't know if I can really describe my emotions. I wasn't emotional because I was young. But I do remember being with my friends and listening to the speech. And I was impressed with the speech when it was happening. And when he stood back and said, good God almighty, free at last, I felt a, a rush of emotion, as I think everyone else did. We felt that it's a part of history for one thing. And uh, I'm very familiar with uh, Martin Luther King Jr.'s uh, task and how he went about uh, making it public and doing what he did for the country and for all Americans. And being from Birmingham, Alabama, of course, uh, that had a big significance to me in terms of recognizing him and what he did and wanted to see the progression of that. It's important to be here on a day like today, not just for the history, but to uh, signify that there are still struggles that continue, even though that so much progress has been made, um, incredible progress, but you know, so much more can be done, and we just want to be a part of that, that whole process.